Do you guys see that? That is what it looks like after I clean my 17 year old reel that hadn't been cleaned in probably a couple years, I'd say at least one or two. Anyways, welcome back to yet another video. If you guys watched my last video, you know that I absolutely slayed bass at a lake I've never been to on this lure right here. So what I wanted to do at the end of that video, I put away the top water and I want to do an experiment where I fished the middle and bottom of the water column to see how those bass would react to some different baits. So what I did is I pulled out these two baits right here. Take a look. We've got the grass hero and the lunker log. And what I did is I fished each bait for two and a half hours to see uh, how many fish I could catch. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what happened when I put on the grass hero. Nice looking lay down right here. Little Bama bass. Oh, dude, Jesus. Holy crap, I'm in the tree. Oh, I'm falling. Oh, oh holy crap. Oh, oh, Jesus Louise. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Well, okay. Okay, let's get my marbles going. What just happened there? I got a bite doing the Bama Bass. I, this never happened to me before. Oh, something caught my attention there. Then I got hooked up in the tree. Then I slipped off the freaking, freaking log. Oh, I wouldn't do that again though. That was epic. I don't know if this is cheating, but I'm finna about to just fish this grass here like a freaking filthy frog. Oh, holy crap, there's no way. There's no way. Hold on a second, it's actually working. There's definitely a fish over there. <laughs> Try to get it in the hole. Right there, right in the hole. I think, I got it. I got it, oh he broke me off. It freaking broke me off. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me, there's a giant. There's no freaking way. Oh my gosh. Clean break off. <sighs> oh, there goes the grass hero monster. Shoot. Oh man, I wish I could have seen that fish. Absolute. I knew it was big from the first time it swirled on it. <sighs> Probably like a, I mean, honestly it could have been a giant snakehead the way it cut my line like that. Number one, finally on the swim jig. It's not bad. Yep, large mouth. About a pounder. You fish out here? Of course, yeah, I don't keep any. I don't play, I wouldn't eat anything out here. I don't even eat fish, period. I don't eat that much. I just like catching and releasing. He's good, man. Thank you. All right. Ah, that wasn't really the result I was looking for on this bait right here. Fishing an area with a lot of grass and this bait came through clean almost every single time, but just did not catch the fish that I was looking for. So then I tied on the lunker log, you know, it's a bait that pretty much never fails in the summer, fishing ponds, shallow lakes, etc. Had some good feelings about this guy. Put it on Texas rig, fished a six inch version because it was windy. And let's go ahead and see what happened when I put that on? I'm still here. You know why? Because I did not even get a single nibble fishing the lunker log for two freaking hours. So at that point, I packed my things up. I called it a day, had a great morning, had a very slow afternoon. And then I was thinking when I got home, you know, this lake, I think there's some more to it. So I decided to run another experiment, went back to that same lake, and this time I pulled out 
four different baits and decided to have a topwater shootout where I would fish each of these baits for 45 minutes. We've got the buzz bait, the blooper, the filthy frog, and of course, the hound. Let's see which of these baits will reign as topwater king. Here we are, we've made it back out to the lake. There's one end and there's the other end. So 45 minutes, bait number one. We're gonna go with the classic black buzz bait. Pretty early right now, 6, 10 a.m. Fish should be active in theory. So uh, let's get this challenge started and see which top water is gonna reign supreme today. Man, there should be a fish right around here. Hmm. No action yet. So far I've covered the entire dam side of this lake. I thought for sure I'd get at least one nibble by now, but... So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna jog up to the next section of fishable water. All right. Another juicy looking spot for the buzz bait right at the point of the island. Got a lot of vegetation around here, a lot of shallow vegetation. I mean, it looks like pretty decent buzz bait conditions to me. <clears throat> Cast as far as I can, slow and steady. That's all you gotta do with the buzz bait. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. So I set the hook a little bit too early, guys. I was actually not really expecting a bite right there. Oh, there he is, yes! Oh, he got off! No! Dang it, I had him too! You know what's so funny? Oh, that was a frog, I think it was a frog. That's a frog, right? Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, he got off. That's a giant bullfrog right there. Funny thing is, when I was fishing the hound, every single fish I hooked up into, I landed. I was literally 10 out of 10 that day. Probably got less than a minute out here. Make a couple more, maybe one or two casts. And pop. Oh no. Oh, that's a terrible cast. That is not what you want to see on your buzz bait in your final few seconds of a challenge. Ah, disgusting. Let's see how much time we got. Oh, four seconds. All right, last cast. If it's in the water, you can reel it in. All right, this is the last cast right here. It's in the water. Our fate rests in the last few seconds of this cast. Buzz bait results, far less than I expected. I mean, getting out here this early in the morning, covering literally half the lake, I thought this bait was gonna pop off. It's time to throw on the Guggen Popper, AKA the Blooper. Now as for color, we've got a couple options here. We can go bluegill, we can go black, we can go more of a ghost pattern. And what I'm thinking is, you know what? The main forge in this place are definitely bluegill. So let's go ahead and tie on and hopefully this goes a little bit better. Let me tell you guys my thoughts as to why the buzzbait failed. Number one, this lake is not huge. So the fish here see a lot of baits, very accessible, it's public. And I've seen a lot of fishermen out here. In fact, last time I was here, I met a very friendly subscriber. Shout out to you, Purnell. Hopefully I remembered your name correctly. So what up, bro? I gotta get you on camera. <laughs> I'm just watching your video this morning. <laughs> really? I swear to God. That's crazy, huh? You at the Potomac River with uh, Reggie, I think Yeah, name? that's right, Reggie. <laughs> Dog, I'm sorry. Now nah, you good, bro? I gotta get you on camera, bro. Yeah, it's great. Do your thing. I'm here to fall fish. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I swear, I've been trying to catch me on these for like the past week, and nothing is just like 
I don't know what to do with it. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, when you see this video, I'll have it out today, probably in a couple days, okay. and it'll show you exactly how to catch it from here. Bro, I'm I'm definitely about to go live. So guys, look, if you guys don't know, this is a famous YouTuber. <laughs> one rod, one fish, guys. What's YouTuber. your name, bro? Uh, Purnell. Purnell? Yes, sir. Good to meet you, bro. Hey, man. Social like, distance? Good stuff. Like top of the line fisherman, bro. I'm talking about whatever fish you can probably think of, he probably have caught it or probably will catch it. I appreciate that. But man, he's a beast. If you guys don't know, you two, one rod, one fish, <laughs> man. He is amazing. All yeah. right, we out. Anyways, I think there are two things that are required to catch fish from this particular lake. Number one, I think you need to be able to make long casts. Boating is not allowed here, so the farther you can cast, the more likely it is you're going to reach fish that have maybe never seen an artificial lure. And number two, I believe that you need to use a bait that is extremely lifelike in action. 45 minutes, start. Something's hitting it. Something's definitely, something's definitely hitting my bait. I don't know if it's a little bluegill or what, but something, I mean, there's literally a fish just waking behind it. I got him, I got him, fish on. Oh, wait, it's big, it's big. What the hell, it's not fighting. Oh shoot, oh no. This is probably the one thing you don't want to catch. Ah, oh, no. No wonder why it looked like it was just waking behind the freaking bait. Oh my gosh. Please don't be big. What do we got here? Oh, shh. No. No. It's, oh, thank goodness. That was a 50 pound snapping turtle. Oh, I don't know if it just let go or what, but as soon as it got to the bank, the blooper escaped his grasp. Look at that, the hook bent out. I mean, I was putting a lot of pressure on that fish. Oh, sorry, turtle. That thing was freaking ginormous. All right, back in business. Oh, again, the action came far cast, right to the middle. I don't know what it is about this lake, but that seems to be where all the fish are. Well, all the creatures are. Oh, we got another one. Wait, no freaking way. You gotta be freaking, you gotta be freaking kidding me. If you show me another freaking snapping turtle, I mean, this feels like a 44, 40, I'm gonna put this guy in the scale. If I can, I'm gonna put this guy in the freaking scale. It's a freaking Mondo. Look at this thing, guys. Look at him on the blooper. Ah. Get your booty over here, bud. <sighs> oh, we're off again. Okay. okay. Well, for some reason, they keep getting off right at the bank, but I actually don't mind that. I don't want to lose a finger today. Well, I'm not sure which bait has been doing better so far. The buzz bait got two bites from largemouth, whereas the blooper got two bites from snapping turtles. Let's try to avoid our reptilian friends by moving over to this side. So this one has a lot more shallow grass. So I think what I got to do is try to cast beyond it towards the holes. Anywhere beyond the grass should be pretty safe for my popper. Mm, so we're on baby. We're on. It's fish number one. It's little. It's in the weeds. I want to land it though. And whatever this is, is like the tiniest fish of all time. Ah, it is a baby bass that got, it's clean hooked. It's just got both hooks in her. I'm just glad it's not another freaking snapper. Ah, there is bass number one of the top water shoot off. See you later. We're about 20, 25 minutes in on the poppers. So we got a good amount of time left. My idea worked to cast out past the 
grass line right here. So we'll keep doing that and see if we can pull out a fish with a little bit more substance. That would be nice. Well, that is it for round two. Well, this challenge definitely has taken a few unexpected twists and turns. Bait number three, we're gonna put on the exact same bait that I fished last time. And I'm gonna fish this area for 15 minutes before moving around the lake. I mean, we've got even better top water conditions than last time in my opinion. Nice and calm, overcast skies. It makes no sense to me why I have not caught any of those nice fish that I caught last time I was here. It just ain't happening here, guys. I'm down to 20 minutes. I'm gonna make one more cast and then we've gotta make a move. Where do we go? I just have no idea where the fish are right now. Last time I was literally dialed in, as dialed in as you could possibly be. Today, it's like, I don't know how to catch a fish. That's fishing for you. One day, you're on them. Next day, it's very similar conditions, but you can't catch a decent fish to save your life. That's one of the alluring things of fishing. No matter how good you are, there's always gonna be days when you get humbled by these little fishies. We gotta get back here. <sighs> well, I can guarantee ain't no one's been fishing back here. And that is water right here. So we probably are not gonna be able to get too much farther unless I wanna go in some really nasty looking stuff. Dang, it's real flooded back here. Oh, do I wanna walk through this to make some casts? You bet your ass I do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it smells great. All right, 15 minutes left. Let's make something happen. <laughs> oh, we got one, yes! We got one on the hound, boys. My move paid off. We've got ourselves a gigantic largemouth bass. Look at that beauty. Absolutely stunning specimen of a largemouth. That was the explosion of the century on the hound. Look at that thing absolutely annihilated this bait. Oh, went through the oil polluted mud to get this guy right here. I am not dialed in at all. I mean, we have fished open water on three different top water baits, three different top water baits. And let's see how much time I have left. Three minutes. You know what? We are going to just cancel that right there. And we're gonna move on to the final bait because if they're not in open water, they've gotta be in the thick stuff. Process of elimination. Okie dokie. Our final hope, the filthy frog. Now I've seen some gigantic bullfrogs out here. I'm gonna choose the frog that is gonna most closely imitate these bullfrogs that I've seen. And honestly, it's gonna be this darker one, this gray one, white belly. This is our best shot right here. We're gonna be fishing all kinds of matted stuff. And I mean, you gotta think the fish have gotta be under there. I have not found them anywhere else. No bites on the frog. I've got 10 minutes left on it. But you know what guys, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. And technically I still have three minutes left with the hound. So I'm gonna tie it back on because this spot looks, I just have a feeling there's something big over here. Oh, 
something waked on it. Yo, that it look that looked like a sna that actually looked like a snakehead. What a bud. Whoa, don't touch my line. Oh, there he is! I knew it! Yes! Right next to the structure. That's a good one. It's a real good one. Oh, stay pegged. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. Oh my goodness, it's Mondo. Oh, please. On the hound. That was my last three minutes on the hound. Let's go, baby. Stay down. Stay down. Keep rats up down. I right, keep pressure on. We got a lot of braid on here. Get in the. Oh, boom. Let's go. Woo. Right there, guys. Oh, you guys want to see the fish? All right, bring him over. Oh, it's a nice one. Yep, big mouth bass. You got it. Got a nice uh, three pound large mouth bass right here. You guys fish? Just started? Well, well, here's a great place you can fish. And uh, I, sh I teach people how to fish on my YouTube channel. Okay. If you go to YouTube, One Rod, One Real Fishing. One Rod, what? One Rod, One Real Fishing. Okay. I'll, I can teach you guys how to fish. Okay. Have they started stocking the lake? Um, not that I'm aware of, no. <sighs> I freaking knew it. Sometimes, I guess you gotta trust your gut. <sighs> I mean, she's all of three pounds. You know, we gotta get a quick weight. Probably just under three pounds to be honest. I'm probably being a little overzealous. Official weight, two pounds. I mean, what did I tell you guys? Just under three pounds, 2.99 pounds. One one hundredth of a pound away from three pounds. But this is why you trust your instincts, guys. Good thing I had three minutes left on the hound, otherwise I would not have caught this beauty of a fish. I'm going to give her a proper release. Oh, she's biting down. She's ready. Look at her. Look at her biting my thumb. Oh, it smells great over here. You ready to go, girl? Mm. I'm going to gag. All right, let's let you go. Get, get out of here. So, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me show you what happened right there. Again, making super long casts. And if you guys look out there, straight in the middle of my screen, there's a little stick up. That little stick up is exactly where that fish hit. I made probably eight casts, four to the left, four to the right. On that eighth cast, that fish absolutely annihilated the hound right here. I, I think that's the only fish I caught. On, oh no, no, I caught that little baby dink as well. So there's still, there's big fish to be caught. Today is not like it was last time. Bites are few and far between. But we're gonna put the frog back on and fish out the other 15, 10, 15 minutes I've got on it. Let's see if we can end this thing with a bang.